Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world, is a place of awe-inspiring beauty and deadly danger. But it's also a place of mystery, holding secrets that go far beyond what you'd expect. Imagine finding sea creatures on top of a mountain or stumbling upon mysterious footprints in the snow. And what if the whispers of ghosts echo through the icy air? Get ready to explore the dark and chilling discoveries that have scientists shaking their heads and adventurers looking over their shoulders. High on the slopes of Mount Everest, where the air is so thin it's barely a whisper, lies a place climbers call the Death Zone. This is the area above 8,000 meters where the human body starts to shut down. It's a frozen wasteland of extreme cold and oxygen deprivation. Most climbers who lose their lives on Everest do so in this zone. Up here, your brain gets foggy, your body grows weak, and your decisions become clouded. Even with extra oxygen tanks, the human body can't handle these conditions for long. Some climbers even report seeing strange things or hearing weird noises, their minds playing tricks on them in the harsh environment. But what if the ghostly figures and strange noises aren't just hallucinations? Many climbers have described spooky experiences on Everest, blaming them on the spirits of those who never made it back down. One Sherpa, Pemba Dorji, told a chilling tale of seeing dark shapes and hearing whispers during his climb in 2004. These stories are common among climbers. Some describe seeing shadowy figures appear out of nowhere, while others feel cold touches or hear whispers in the wind. These ghostly encounters could be caused by the extreme stress of climbing, altitude sickness, or the lack of oxygen messing with their minds. But some believe there's something more sinister at play on the mountain, a supernatural presence that haunts the icy slopes. But the mysteries of Everest don't end with ghostly encounters. There's a place called the Rainbow Valley, a hauntingly beautiful yet tragic spot just below the summit of the deadly death zone. It may sound cheerful, but the Rainbow Valley gets its name from the colorful jackets and gear of fallen climbers, their bodies preserved in the freezing cold. It's a sad reminder of the mountain's dangers because it's so risky and difficult to recover the bodies, they often stay there, becoming eerie landmarks for other climbers. The Rainbow Valley is a chilling reminder of the high price some pay for the ultimate adventure. Even further down the mountain, another mystery lurks. In 1951, a British climber named Eric Shipton stumbled upon huge footprints that looked human-like. They were 13 inches long, with a strange walking pattern, and they were found at a mind-blowing 19,000 feet. This discovery sparked the legend of the Yeti, a mysterious creature said to roam the Himalayas. Despite many searches and expeditions, nobody has ever found the Yeti. Some think the footprints belong to an unknown type of ape or bear, while others say they're just from regular animals or the weird way the snow melts. The Yeti remains a puzzle, adding to the many secrets of this incredible mountain. But the Rainbow Valley isn't the only place where climbers rest in peace. Sadly, over 200 bodies remain on Everest sometimes visible to those still making their way up. One of the most well-known is a climber nicknamed Green Boots, thought to be Tsewang Paljor, who died in 1996. These frozen bodies are a grim reminder of the mountain's unforgiving nature. The extreme weather and dangerous terrain make it nearly impossible to bring them down so they remain as haunting memorials to those who lost their lives chasing their dreams. It's not just the remains of climbers that have been found on Everest. Scientists have made an astonishing discovery near the summit. Marine fossils. 
These fossils, including ancient creatures like trilobites, are over 450 million years old. That's when this part of the world was underwater, before the towering mountains even existed. This discovery is like a puzzle piece, helping scientists understand how the Earth's massive plates shifted and crashed together, pushing up the Himalayas to form the tallest peaks on the planet. Finding these ancient sea creatures on top of the world's highest mountain is a fascinating reminder of just how much our planet has changed over time. The mountain's mysteries go beyond ancient fossils and frozen climbers. In more recent times, Everest has claimed the lives of adventurers seeking to push the limits of human endurance. In 2001, a daring snowboarder named Marco Sifredi set out to conquer Everest in his own way. He wanted to snowboard down the treacherous Hornbein Couloir, a steep and icy gully on the mountain's slopes. Even though he was an experienced extreme sports athlete, Sifredi disappeared without a trace. No one ever found any sign of what happened to him. His vanishing act is just one more unsolved mystery that adds to the mountain's eerie reputation. But even before Sifredi, others had been lured by the challenge of Everest. In 1934, a British soldier named Morris Wilson came up with a strange plan to climb the mountain all by himself. He didn't have any climbing experience, and he thought that praying and fasting would be enough to get him to the top. He managed to reach an impressive 23,000 feet, but the harsh conditions proved too much, and he died of exhaustion. His body was found a year later, still inside his tent. Wilson's story is a tragic reminder of the importance of being prepared and respecting the mountain's power. But Everest's mysteries don't stop with individual adventurers. In the past, even whole teams of climbers have vanished on this mountain. Back in 1952, during the Cold War, a group of Soviet climbers had a secret mission. They wanted to be the first to reach the top of Everest from the north side, and they planned to plant statues of their leaders, Lenin and Stalin, at the summit. But they disappeared without a trace, leaving behind only questions. It wasn't until 2017 that four of their bodies were finally found in a tent at 26,000 feet, still holding the secret of what happened to them. This mysterious disappearance adds another layer of intrigue to Everest's history. The mountain's fury wasn't limited to just climbers. On April 25, 2015, a powerful earthquake shook Nepal, causing massive avalanches to thunder down Everest. This was the deadliest day in the mountain's history, with 22 climbers losing their lives and many more getting hurt. The earthquake caused chaos at base camp and trapped climbers higher up the mountain. It was a heartbreaking reminder that even with all our technology and preparation, the raw power of nature can still claim victory. Mount Everest, with its towering peak and icy slopes, is a place of breathtaking beauty and unimaginable danger. It holds countless stories of triumph, loss, mystery and wonder. Will we ever unravel all of its secrets, or will the mountain forever hold on to its mysteries, buried deep beneath the snow and ice? Only time will tell. As always, thanks for tuning in, and be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you're fixing for more of that history crack.